know, one of the hardest things that Christ did from the cross was to pray for the Roman soldiers that crucified him. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. In this Lenten season, I have challenged myself with a spiritual discipline on praying for difficult people that God allows in my life. I had somebody tr breaking my truck the other day and I found myself praying for him. Lord, just forgive him because he's got bigger problems than I've got. I saw a big muscular guy um, at the health plex of the day. I went to work out and he's in great shape physically, could do anything. And he pulled into a handicapped parking spot. And I just said, Lord, would you just open his eyes and forgive him and show him, Father, that other people with disabilities need that spot? You know, Job says in Job 23, 10, For he knows the way that I take. And when he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. Let you and I come forth as gold when God tests us with difficult, hard people and to pray for them, just like Christ did. Each member of my family typically picks some kind of food or treat to give up during Lent. While these are small things to give up, they're things that are present in our everyday lives. So each time we forego that piece of chocolate or that cup of coffee, we're constantly reminded of Christ's sacrifices for us. And whatever we choose, it never feels like enough. I'm always left feeling like I'm not giving up something big enough. Um, but I think that may be the point. There is no such thing. No matter what we sacrifice, it will never compare to what was sacrificed for us. I've tried my hand at fasting different ways. Uh, uh, sometimes, especially during Lent, one of the things I remember doing a number of years ago was at that time I would drink usually one soft drink a day. And so the idea of giving, I think it may have been Diet Dr. Pepper or something like that, was like, okay, instead of having this one soft drink a day, I'm gonna give this up um, and, you know, I think that the whole idea is maybe find a sense of uh, sacrifice and a sense of identifying with, with Jesus' suffering, although that's not a, whole, not a huge sacrifice at all, uh, but some sense of finding satisfaction in Him uh, more so than um, the, the gifts that He gives. Um, and then also, uh, that kind of had been challenged years before that, to, this, not only giving something up, but what can you also give back? And so taking that, what are your 50 cents, whatever the value of that was, and and adding that up and saying, okay, where can I uh, offer up the, the money that would have been consumed in uh, this uh, small little uh, pleasure that I was taking part in each day and how can I give that to, to somebody else who didn't have something, uh, just enough to cover their basics even. What's the biggest thing I've ever given up for Lent and how did it help me grow spiritually? Easy answer for me. Four years ago, I decided to do a juice fast and it was actually the weekend before Ash Wednesday. And by the time Ash Wednesday rolled around, I decided, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and give up food for the next 40 days and do it for Lent and just do this juice fast for Lent. Well, let me tell you, for the first week and a half, it was brutal. Complained every day. I was miserable. Uh, and I actually prayed about it. I felt so bad because I really wanted to give up, uh, but I was determined. And so through my prayer, what it really taught me and how it helped me grow was at the end of the day, when you're looking at things we give up and things we sacrifice for Lent, the things we give up are nothing compared to what Jesus Christ gave up for us. So for me, the sacrifice becomes easy at that point. Although it might be hard physically, uh, it means so much more when you think about it like that. And you think about all of the things that Jesus gave up for us.